Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Inkbound, the turn-based tactics roguelike from the creators of Monster Train that I'm excited to be back to here today. Extra excited because there is a new thing added to the game. A brand new Retromation cosmetic hat here. Very, very cool. So I'm actually in the game now. If you're interested in picking up this helmet for yourself, I've got a whole bunch of keys. I'll give them away in my Discord. There's a link in the description. Check out the announcements, yada, yada, yada. You can get one for free. But it is very, very cool, and we're going to be going in to do a run with it here. Very good reason to be back at it to play a game that I really, really enjoy. So... We're going to be in on a ranked dive, which is basically like the hard mode, if you don't know. I'm not that far into the progression, though, so we got fully augment three bindings, spend a whole bunch of money. Uh, I think let's go for the spend a whole bunch of money quest. Basically, if we do that, we get a free legendary item. So we're going to be playing as the magma miner, kind of a big dumb smack man. Uh, on combat and restore four health, defeating an enemy, gain two stacks of shattered will. So basically, whenever we defeat five enemies, we get one mana back. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Verdant Sprout is just a really nice way to not have to care about, like, taking chip damage here and there. Okay, so we got Critical Bonk, crit chance up on our, like, basic just attack. Strength and Smash, basically add a whole bunch of damage to our move that already does. A lot of damage. Or Scorching Leap. Let's go for a Critical Bonk. Uh, so what do we got? Enemies restore 15% of their missing health every turn on turn start. You, <laughs> yeah. Basically, we do less damage over the course of time. Every time an enemy is hit, they gain damage resist until the end of the turn. I will say this gives us so much money, and our quest is to get money that I guess I'm going to be going for this one? I don't know. We'll see. It could bite me in the butt. Could really, really bite me in the butt. Tarnish Vault or Quilling Cage. We're going to go for Quilling because, again, our quest is to get lots of money. One second. All right. Okay. Smacka, smacka. Disintegration Oil. Hex and Shatter. That's basically going to be like they take more damage. We can inflict that on enemies, but let's start our first combat. All right. So, extremely brief. If you don't know the game, we've got a couple moves here. Uh, we can move around freely, but you can see it will take some of our mana to move out of a certain radius. Uh, generally, we're going to be looking to do... Let's see. Hmm. We have our... This is a guaranteed crit on this, which is appealing. But if we go for a kill here, we can get a double kill there. Trying to move over here. So we are taking a guaranteed hit here. That's kind of just uh, something we're going to have to deal with. If we could go touch that, we could get a little bit of mana back. But I think going for like a, a leaping strike into a smack is about the best we're going to get here. We also got some shield. That's right. Magma Miner got changed in the release. Uh, gain one ability power on stack. So basically every time we hit an enemy, we gain a stack of heat. When we get five stacks, we get some shield. Uh, yeah, we stack up our damage as well. So basically, the more we hit enemies, the more damage we do. We're kind of like heating up more or less. Okay. I want to see. Could this kill? This couldn't kill. So I feel like getting you out of the way is probably a good call. Slowly trying to uh, maybe move my way down. To here. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. That's not good. All right. Well, we hit one more thing. We get our shield up. So it's not going to matter that much. We're going to take a whopping one damage. I, to be fair, I think we were going to take one damage anyways. And we have the, uh, the Verdant Sprout. That's what I was saying is kind of, kind of nice about that. Barrier on all enemies, defeat to cleanse the effect. You know, take one damage. Deals one damage to the attacker when taking damage. So we're going to need to uh, smack this guy out of this space. But I don't think we really have the tools to do it. Again, since we have Ink Shell, he gets a 10... It Basically, this reads as a 10% uh, 
damage resist every time we hit him up to five times so i can't get him out of the way so if you're gonna be doing one damage to me anyways i may as well kill you so that we don't have to deal with them next turn right like we're, we're taking that damage anyways okay i'm gonna do a little silly thing here so this kind of want to spend the one point to get over here collect a couple of these all right good deal one smack and then this just does tons of damage so kind of like the idea is you stack up like crazy with your one key or maybe your jump and then you go for a big old blast it is probably you know probably the most straightforward character i'm gonna get some crit chance I think going for critical build is kind of what I'm starting with here. Heavy leap's not bad. Just upgrade the damage of heavy leap, or we could upgrade our bonk to do a little bit more damage just naturally. I'm going to reroll once. There we go. Critical bonk. Even more crit chance on our bonk. Even more critical damage. Absolutely critical bonk build. Okay, so now we get a free binding, which is a new spell. Teleport a distance away for free, basically, is what that'll be. Get evasive and gain a critical charge on a random binding. I'm going to go for that one because it is a nice defensive tool. Teleport is probably, if I'm going to be honest, teleport is probably one of the best bindings in the entire game. But, hey, I just want to I want to switch it up. And also, this is an aggressive way to do it because we get a critical um, a binding, which basically means... One random ability will guaranteed crit next time. When you see that little fire down there, it means it's going to crit. Okay. Move up here, grab a little bit of that. I would like the treasure pot, but it's tough when we know we've got damage coming our way, you know? Alright. Just moving on up. Man, this, the crit on this almost does as much as the uh, the massive bonk does right now. Gain a will reserve. Shatter and hex. Maybe. We'll see. Alright, so you're the only one doing actual direct damage to me. If I just hit somebody five times, then we don't have to worry too much. What does that look like? Eh, it's a little bit spooky. Or we could use after image on ourselves. Evasive lets us just block a hit, which is obviously a pretty good situation. Hmm. This guy gives us a lot of money. Not super happy with using it for this, but I might. Okay. Sure. Gives us a lot of money. Probably should have used the disintegration oil. I just really like to save my potions for when I feel like I really, really need them. All right, there we go. He is going to run away. No surprises there. Yikes. Grab the orb. I'd like to hit two here. That, you know, it helps. That helps a lot. We're, we're only taking a little bit, and we do restore four. So we have, we have an amount that is okay to take, you know? So uh, another thing is when you pick up these orbs, it also resets your cooldowns by one. So that's another very helpful thing. They're both doing three damage. Okay, so we got our shielding. 
We didn't get the crit, so let's go for the big boy blast. Get out of here, my friend. All right, we pick this up. We can avoid a direct attack at some point here. That's a one, two. Oh my goodness. Those crits. We, we need even more crit chance. That's really the thing. These guys are so tanky because of that, uh, the nerf thing we have to take. Oh my, okay, hold on. Come on, can we get a... Okay, good, good, good. I was gonna say, can we, can we get a crit on that bad boy? All right, we're at five, so we're gonna take a hit if we do this. I think it's... It's not worth it. We, we, I think we keep our uh, critical charge. Okay, yeah, we sure do. I am ensnared. So I can move a lot less. You can see the circle radius that I can run while still using my move is quite low. Um, so yeah, if I hit him, my damage goes up 10%, but his resistance goes up 10%. It's kind of weird. I think it's worth smacking them still. And then we jump out so we are not in that radius. Hello, my friends. I shall get you. There we go. Woof, my goodness. Burn damage, restore eight health. I'm gonna go for a reroll. We only have two left. I'm gonna get more crit chance for now. Stack a burn. Heavy leap does an extra tw just 20 damage. I'm going to say sure. I don't want to fill up this right now because the later in the run you get... Um, sure. The, the more rare the perk upgrades get, so I kind of don't want to spend it now. Hard to ignore that the ink's been shifting some since you've been putting down those beasts, eh, Needless? Figure it takes some doing to beat those villains, so... Color me impressed. You got the spunk to do it. Still, how long you gonna keep it up till you realize there ain't no permanent killing of those Incan creatures? Just gonna keep coming back till the age ends and the sea takes us all again. Or, till someone breaks this little stalemate we've got going. Well, not my business, not my problem. So, be buying or be moving. World might be ending, but that don't mean Quillen's lost their worth. Right. Okay. Shield up on your first turn, gain 20 shield? The hell? So basically, you will not take damage on your first turn? It's good to know. I feel like I could do better. On hitting inflict a stack of bleed, let's do a little bit of that. Spiked on your first turn, gain stacks of spiked. It's something. It's not crazy. I'm just, I'm not super happy. On your turn, restore a health. Aye, 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 fine. I need to spend this money. On your turn, gain two physical power until the end of combat. If you collect an orb, lose a physical power. So we could, like, we could ramp up over time. On being hit, gain a small amount of quilling up to 10 times per combat. I'll just say sure. All right. We spent a decent amount of our quillings. We still have more. Vault, Tarnish Vault, Glyph Globule. Or Superior Vault. Uh, let's go for a Glyph Globule. I think that that is stats, if I remember correctly. So, like, we might be able to bump up our crit chance some more. Can I? Good. Bonk. Bonk. And then I'm just going to go ahead and use the uh, the dodge there. So do we gain another? Yeah, we do go up to four there. That's pretty exciting. 
I kind of want to grab the orb so we can get our cooldown reduction, though. While this is doing some crazy damage. Okay. Cool. Yeah, just this one thing, I think we can make some magic happen with it. Oh boy. But part of me needs to kind of restore a bit because I'm at three. I could just take this hit. We get a little bit more strength and we also get a little bit of money for getting hit. We could, we could use that to our advantage a bit. Unfortunately, there's nowhere I can hit all three of those, but I can hit all three of these. So I'll say sure on that. You're not dead on that? Okay, so we'll take a second to buff up our damage a little bit more. Good. All right, we can take another we can take another little hit. Again, we're gaining money by doing this. Let's see. You have one of the damage reductions. You've got two. I mean, we're getting money. It's hard to be too mad at that. So we kind of want to... I kind of want to take one. If we stacked up some damage on one guy and then, like, blasted the other, that'd be cool. Or not. The question is if I want to take damage... Uh, to be clear, evasion cannot protect you from uh, AoE attacks, so I would take that damage. I think it's fine. Ah, we got shield. We should have done it. Poof, those crits. Lift globule. Oh, no, that's right. That's rerolls. I actually am really happy with that, though. I forgot. Immediately we got benefit from that because we're running out of rerolls. We would be out right now. Uh, this makes it so this could put a stack of burn. Quick and smash has a reduced cooldown. That could be nice. Reduce the cooldown of your highest cooldown binding by one whenever you use this, but it has a six turn cooldown of its own. I'm going to grab quick and smash so as not to waste rerolls when that is a good pick for us. Steal a large amount of money from the enemy. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Let's rob him. Let's freaking rob him. Gain shield and spike. Free binding augment and the capability of purchasing another. I wish I had more money. It takes 250, I think, to upgrade, to get the other upgrade. It's still a free binding augment. This... I'll go for this because it's free. We don't have enough money to reach our spend quillings goal yet. Uh, so one ability power is actually a 10% damage up across the board with physical or magical abilities. That's what that means right there. Shield and spiked. I've been ensnared. Cool. So again, I could... I could walk out of this. I'm still being... Still taking one damage from something, which I actually don't mind. Oh, I'm taking it from... There's another guy up there! mind it too much I kind of want to leave some power orbs to an extent I might take one next turn so I could go in for a leap I guess well if I'm taking one next turn then I might as well take one this turn you know what I'm saying 
Okay. Hmm. Can't reach anything without spending a point here, so we're going to spend the point here. One, two, or we could go for the big smash. You know what? I kind of want to go for the big smash on the boss guy. Get some more damage out there. Eh. It's important to get that out of the way. Short, a little bit more money. The bleed is cracking away. All right. Let's get in there. We'll do that. Woo. It's a nasty smack, and we could get the dodge in, but I don't really care too much. I'd like one more will so that I could gain will without having to use my... Um... Okay, so we're just going to do this twice. Doesn't matter. And we'll actually use this turn to steal from him now. And then we'll, uh, we'll put on the evasive. Okay, because we kind of put him at the halfway point, which meant um, a whole lot of nothing was going to be happening. Smack. Just start smacking. Take the hit. Gain some money. Ooh, are we... We already hit our... 10? Or no, we had evasive. Okay. It's like the crit I don't want to waste on the little guys. I'm trying to stack up my damage. All right, fine. A little bit counteractive there, counterproductive. Uh, that gives me the shield. We should be fine. And now we should be able to just get the hell in there. question is like do I want to take this damage I actually do Let's see if I can get more money I think I'm capped though cut then we get healed up we're at 58 seems good to me uh, an ally also gains four stacks of evasive, gain five stacks of stealth instead. Stealth is on being hit with a direct attack, dodge instead and lose a stack. Uh, but also you have 100% ability power. So basically you can spend the stacks to do extra damage or dodge. I think I'm good with that. Bonk costs zero will the first three times you use it every turn. Sounds incredible. It does. It's not great with the penalty that we've got here, but oh well. That's just gonna have to be fine. Hello, young quill. Free heal. Frostbite damage, burn damage. None of that's useful to me. None of that's useful to me. I'll take an ability power. Should we take the story? Sure. You look like you could use a towel rolling around with Argolath. We'll be sure to leave you dripping for a while. You should know. They happened once. The tentacles looked like they wanted a hug, and they were so soft-looking. Can you really blame a quill for wanting a little physical affection every once in a while? Well, no. I suppose I can't. And been well if I have ever been cold with you. I Apology accepted. On turn end, enemies gain an attack boost. Is terrifying. Collecting an orb... On collecting an orb, take two damage is very interesting when I don't want to pick up orbs anyways. Normally, I hate this one. But I'm actually going to take it just because it lines up with um, this relic that is discouraging me from picking up orbs anyway. So, like, it's going to have to be a really good thing. I got plenty of money now to do what I needed to do. So if I spend all this money, I get my free legendary and I'll get like a massive power spike. But I'm going to need to find a shop or something to spend it at. Yeah, these guys always start so far apart.
All right, let's just position ourselves pretty well, I guess. There we go. Honestly, that's probably worth it. This is probably the time where it's worth it, right? They're all standing on each other. I thought I saw three at once. Okay, right, back it up, back it up. Whoop! We're not going to be able to get down there in time, so I might as well rob you. Okay. Oof. Can't reach anybody. What does this look like? Not that great. Okay. Man, I do miss have like having the ability to pick up these orbs, though. Take the hits, we get some money. Don't run too far from each other. Okay, thank you. Okay. Good enough for me. We'll take the little hit. Or maybe? Maybe not? Maybe not. Bye-bye, nerd. That bleed did a little bit of extra value for us. Two physical power for each binding on cooldown. Uh, there's a good chance we can have that. On your first turn, if you're above half HP, gain three physical power till the end of combat. On your first turn, if you're under half. Eh. Critical damage, gain three stacks of stealth. Two physical power for each binding on cooldown. I think we actually, if we're not taking orbs, that's actually going to be pretty good. Gain shield for each enemy hit is really nice. We don't really want reduced cooldowns. I'm going to go for a reroll here. I think we can do better. Uh, critical smash, yeah. If we get a crit on that, it's going to be crazy. All right, sp spend their stuff. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, using a physical binding gains you a shield on your first turn. On your turn, inflict a stack of shock, which is something that spreads damage to other shocked enemies. That's super worth it. Now we're going to have to start removing stuff. Get hit, get money. I mean, I think we could probably get rid of Tiny Heartstone for Steel Brella at this point. On your turn, the first binding you use gets a two cost discount is also really appealing. I'm going to say we're done with that. One will, and you defeat it. If you defeat an enemy, gain a will. Yeah, that's just so good. Huge stuff. Okay, so we got rid of some of our healing things. So that'll be a little bit spooky, but... Glyph Globe, we are out of them. I'm going to say sure. It's the rerolls. I think you get a little bit of something else there, too. Uh, on your turn, Random Binding gets a cost discount. Lose at the end of combat. Fine. I think we're going to be sort of overflowing on the... Oh, boy. On that jazz, but still. Oh, well. Shadow image. We got a lot. Ooh, that's some damage. Give me the moolah. I think I'll, uh... I'll rob you so we put something else on cooldown as well. Okay, yeah, we've kind of got stronger. I don't know if you've noticed. We kind of power spiked. I don't know, gee, maybe a little... Okay, everything is on cooldown, so we have one, two, four, six, eight. We have an 80% damage up as a result. Everybody's going to take the next hit. 
That's because of Shocked. Kooky stuff there. Alrighty. So we buffed you up like crazy. Um, is the downside of what we've done here. But it's fine. We didn't take too much. We, we definitely have to focus down this guy now. As if we didn't want to already. Yeah, I have to get both of them, though. It's too free. Oh, my God, really? Okay, he's gone. That was important. That was probably the biggest thing we had to deal with. We just have so much freaking will now. I have nothing to do with this turn. Sure. Bonk. 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 I'm a Bonko Mancer. We can get some more rerolls. Don't mind that. Six rerolls. That's crazy. Crit chance up. Plus 120 damage on Mega Smash. Yep. That is so much. The ability to buy a more powerful binding upgrade, right? Or no. Uh, leap a long distance, deal 77 in a huge area, gain an additional stack of heat for each enemy hit. It's not bad at all. This turns detonate into a magical ability. Demolish double? It doesn't double. It nearly doubles the damage it does. On hitting, drop a moderate amount of money, defeating enemy, get even more. I mean, the reason it would be worth it is just because it does a lot more damage. Like, we're getting laid in the run. The money doesn't matter too much. I'm gonna... I, I need an upgrade on Bonk that's really good. Okay, 49 damage, gain an extra stack of heat. I'm just gonna say yes. Now we can at least outpace um, Inkshell, so that helps. Go for the Binding Empowerment. Inflict days, reduce their stuff. Minus one will cost. I don't really need a will cost reduction right now. It's not bad. It makes it free. Sixty extra damage. Short. Another sixty damage. Okay. So leap is definitely gonna be our thing to um <laughs> to proc the uh the zip zap unless we you know have a a smash lined up maybe like we kind of do right now okay so what we can do is buff up our ability power by a hundred percent destroy everyone that'll work should have stolen his money too but it just <laughs> it just didn't matter Money. Zoop. Zoop. I mean, we might as well. Do we have the bleed still? Yeah, okay. Spread the damage to everybody. Okay. Again, like, I know it's optimal to rob him in that scenario, but it's just like... This doesn't proc your... Okay, good. Boy, oh boy, I'm busted. Consuming an item gain 
on consuming an item in combat, this vestige gains two ability power. It's worth it. If I was stacking bleed damage, I would care more about it. I think that... It's not that it's not good. In fact, it's very good. I just... Additional bar barndon. Barndon. Gets a random charge. Go for the carver. Buy another item. Have another crisis about what to throw away because it gets really tight near the end here. On critting, get a small amount of... It's too late for that. Let's get stupid. Let's get stupid. So we're gonna use these in combat so that we get the uh get the forty percent damage up on that. Cool. Okay. You know what? Rob him. There's no reason to... Well, okay. No, there is a reason to do this. It's to try and generate another critical for next turn. That was a boss. Mug, do 200 damage and steal a large amount of money. And a random consumable. I mean, we can't do it in... Um... Ooh. Ooh. Maybe. Maybe. Mug is not bad. But, like, I actually... This could be a 20% damage up on everything. I, it, Plunder's worth it just because we have the Chalice of Champions. There's not that much chance to steal a random vestige. Man, I'm running out of... Um, run, though. There's only, a, like, two fights left. So I'm just gonna... I guess I'm gonna go with discounted... Like, if I could get a vestige, which is these, like, cool... It's, it's random, so there's no saying it's even going to be something I care about. I'm going to have to use this pretty much immediately, though. So we can't... The thing is, we can't pick up and use this right now. We're going to be doing it so that we can stack them up for later. Is the thing. Low. Okay, and it's already on crit still. On countdown of one increases damage for the rest of... So now th that is... That is our problem. That ain't gonna be good. We do this, his damage goes up. Yep. We don't do a whole lot to him. I'm at least going to hit him with the big crit move. Yeah, this sucks. All right. Let's take a look. So that's that. So if we... uh. I get my heat up on these guys. And then I blast them. Then I have to I still have to deal with their attacks, which is five damage. 
which is okay. But he's doing 10 in a... In this... In that spot, I guess. I still... I can't let him stay. Which means I kind of have to waste these, which is annoying. I don't know if I'm going to be able to... I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. This actually sucks really bad. Oh, he doesn't have the, uh, he doesn't have Inky Might anymore. Oh, shoot. Here's safe-ish. Here is... I'm taking damage from who? Is that you, or is this this line is you? Okay. I think this just has to be fine. There we go. Whew, I knew there was a pixel in there that was going to be good. Okay, so now he's stacking up again. This is barely changing the amount of damage I'm doing to him. I'm at seven heat. It should be... It feels like it should be doing more. I'm at nine heat. It's not going to work. So I think we're going to need to take a couple power orbs. So that I buff myself up with this and get him out of the way. Didn't love that. Didn't love that. Not at all. Health spike damage. I'll go for some crit chance. On being hit, gain two physical power until the end of combat. This is really tough stuff now. That might be better. Can't re-roll it. Might as well get that. Got the Carver's Refuge. We could always buy ourselves a little bit of a heal in this if I want to. Let's check the store value. Uh... How much is this? 75? Just out of curiosity. Would have liked that. On critting, gain a stack of evasive once per turn is really interesting. Uh, it also increases our crit chance. I'm actually... I'm at such a loss for what we want to do with this then. Because I'm pretty tied to a lot of these. Thunderstruck Bell could maybe go for this boss. No, no. Actually, I know how this boss will go. I think that... God, the stack of evasive could be so good. That's basically an evasive every single turn. But all of these are good. All of these are so good. I could get rid of this. And then I could take orbs. But that's a 20% damage up every single turn. And I'm probably not taking my orbs anyways. Unless they count as being hit. 
All right, fine. This is the safer route. Mwah, mwah. All right, so then we're going to use both of these in combat. 25% crit chance <gasps> for the boss. That's exciting. Wait, it's not the boss yet. It is the boss yet. I thought it had a different uh, clicky symbol. Look at my little face there. Okay, what is this one? Every turn you get a random quill binding reduction. Okay, let's see. Does my power go up? I don't think that counts as being hit. Stealing and quilling. The quillings doesn't matter at this point. So he spawns this mushroom. Basically, over the course of the fight, I take Cinderpox, which is a status effect. But I guess I didn't get any. And then if I touch that, I um, requires will to use cleanse all stacks of Cinderpox. But I don't, I don't have any, so. No big deal. Should I, um... I'm doing it. If we can get him to the next threshold, that's just pretty useful. I'm going to try and fish out a crit on that instead. Cool. I have two stacks of Cinder Pox. Take one damage at the end of the turn is the dealio there. Can't hit him. The mushrooms are dropped by the tree boys. So, kind of just have to deal with this here. At least we don't take damage because of the poison. Because we had shield. Yikes. Alright, Casa Will gets rid of my stacks of poison. That helps a lot. Jump behind him. I said jump behind him. Oh, well. <laughs> she steals money. To be clear, I can't pick up the consumable. Can't do it in combat. That's why I'm not doing it all the time. Oh, I got to pause to change the audio. He's so loud. All right. Um, it's not great. This is really not great. If I take the orb, what does that do? It gives me my jump back. Which is on a crit. I think it was probably a mistake. Cleanse with the shroom. Start blasting. Oh, thank you guys. They let they just set that up for me. So nice. Nope. Stop it. Mushroom. Thank you. I already have my crit stacked here. God, they just they just let me have that one. Okay, cleanse a little bit more. Just 
Stack it up. Good to go. Flies in the air, maybe? No. All right, this is risky, but I kind of want to grab the orb. Okay. So we can shadow image. Oh, good. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. We did it. That's right, I did it. <laughs> there we go. Alas, alas, though. That is that that's going to do it here for today for Inkbound. It's good to be back to it. We saw a lot of cool new relics uh, that I haven't played with before. I think we unlocked some more stuff, too. But, yeah, like I said, you know, if you want this little hat for yourself, you can get it for free over in my Discord if you want. I've got a, I got a kind of, I would say a limited amount, but only kind of. I, I'll go in there, go check the announcements in the Discord, uh, check the pins in the announcement in the Discord, go do what it says, whatever, whatever I say there for it to, to get it. And I'll, you know, try and get you one when I can. Uh, but alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today. Thank you for watching. Check the channel. Roguelikes and more every single day. And I will see you next time. Bye.